Good morning, good morning. The golf courses are open again. It is December the 2nd. It is six degrees centigrade, so it is pigging cold out there. I got 11 o'clock tea time, so um, what I've done is I've nipped to the range this morning, hit a few balls to see what I've got. And what I've got is blocks and hooks. Oh, what fun. Still, it might be different once we get out on the golf course and I'm still going to get over here in the net and warm up before before I play, have a few putts as well, just to see how that's going. Wandered down to the 18th green. It looks good. So all that sanding and hollow tining and scarifying and what have you, what they did back in October is gone. Having said that, they've dug up the 15th green to put some drainage in. So I don't know if we're playing on 15 today or whether we're on a temp or I don't know what it's going to look like. We'll find out when we get there. So two points for this video today. First one is what have I got? How bad is it? So I'm just going to record for myself and for your viewing pleasure just how badly I'm hitting the ball. See if there is a consistency to whether I'm hitting it left, right, or fat, thin, whatever. We'll find out. The second thing is winter mats. Now, Lilybrook goes on to winter mats um, 1st of November till the 31st of March. So that's five months of the year. So I need a, um, I need a game plan. What am I going to do off the tee that's different? Because normally winter mats are just push forward. So it's a, you're playing a shorter hole and the ground's soft, so it kind of like evens itself out a bit. But some of these winter mats are offset to the ordinary tee. So I'm going to have some different angles as well as different yardages. So um, I'm going to do this as 18 holes. So I better shut up and uh, stick to um, talking over the top of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm itching to get out there, I'll tell you. You can see the, f the first... Where's my finger? The first tee is just over there and I can see it from here. Anyway, let's go have a laugh. Because you've got to laugh. Whatever happens today, whatever happens on your first round after lockdown, you've got to laugh. You've got to laugh at yourself. Uh, if you lose your rag and get your ass out then you're not going to enjoy it so let's go have a laugh you know how you always forget something right the world handicap system now i said that my index was 5.2 now that was without my last competitive round of golf so they collected the data and they gave me 5.2 then my last uh, round of golf went through, my last competitive round of golf, not friendly stuff. And that's brought me down to 4.7. So uh, I was at the range this morning at Gloucester. I had a look on their chart. 4.7 at Gloucester is 5. So without looking, going down there to the first tee to look at the chart, I think I'm probably still going to be 6 here, but we'll, we'll check in a moment. Right, so here we go. Where is it? Where's my finger? So I am off. It won't focus. I am off 4.7, which means I'm playing off five. Holy cow, I'm off five. Crap. Right, the first hole. The mat is offset to the right, so this um, this helps the old fade. It sets up a bit of an angle for me. Um, it might have helped if I'd actually hit the ball properly. That's not pretty. Six iron. Just going to punch it under the trees. Well, I got most of that out of the rough, but come up short of the green. Yeah, 
Yeah, brilliant. Faster than the uh, Well, the second is offset to the left, and this turns the dog leg into requiring a bit of a hook. I'll take nine shots after two holes. I'm quite happy with that. Now we go to the third and the mat is in front. So it's playing about 179 yards to this back flag. And I figure, you know, it's a bit cold. So I'm going to take the four iron. Unfortunately, we never see the ball again. It's either plugged or it's disappeared under some leaves. So um, take a double and move on the fourth tee box is in front it's, it's a 20 or 30 yards in front so it just makes it easier but i pop this one up what i'm figuring out now is i've got the wrong height tee pegs the tee pegs don't go in very far so i'm gonna have to sort out and uh, get the pocket knife out and have a go with some uh, shortening some tee pegs for my next round Number five, tee box is forward and to the right, which straightens the hole out. Looking at my feet there, I have forgotten how to aim in four weeks. So that's another problem to solve. Although having said that, I seem to be aiming okay on this shot, so perhaps it's just the tee boxes not quite being square to the line of play. Well, the sixth tee box is forward, which brings the ditch into play. So it's down to a five wood here, just to come up short of the ditch. Now the straight ditch has been removed and they've put in a curly ditch. So depending on where you hit it, it's a different distance to the ditch. Number seven is forward. It's playing about 147 and it's up the hill. Again, my T peg I'm using there is too long. So I've popped it up and come up a little short of where I wanted to be. Number eight, it's forward and slightly to the right. So it favours the fade. That suits me. And a decent drive for a change. Now this is quite difficult. I'm on quite an upslope here. You can see from the bent legs. So this has gone up as much as it's gone forwards. But you know, it's down the hole. 
at 95 going with the 50 degree right in the teeth Huge slice through the mud. Good strike though. This is such a shame because I was getting on a roll of some pars there, but the mud ball has uh, dunked me in the bunker. I was so worried about another knife. I only just got it out. I took so much sand there. Number 10 is just, uh, well, it's level with the yellow tee, so it's not that far forward. It's just slightly on the left. Eleven is forward, so it's only playing about a hundred and twenty yards, which is a very simple nine iron for me. Jesus Christ. Number 12 is 83 yards forward, and it's way over here on the left. Now last winter, what little we had of it before lockdown, I was hitting my hybrid up here, but I decided to go with the driver. Made a bit of a pig's ear of it, but I have hit the driver over the top of that corner and into the heart of the fairway. So it's, it's nice to be able to go at this with a... Um, with an iron instead of the hybrid for a change. So that's what I'm going to do throughout the winter. Take the driver. Thirteen is about twenty five yards forward. Standard three wood. Get it up onto the top shelf. Although I might regret doing that.
14 is offset to the right, which makes this hole so much tighter. I'm going with 5 wood. Just don't want to have the mistake I make with a driver and going down that steep bank. Although I'm a little bit far back here, I could have done with being a bit further. Fifteen is about twenty-five yards in front of the yellow tee. It's a straighter hole. Lovely little fade off the tee. But as we are on a temporary green because of the work being done on the fifteenth green, I sort of went into I don't care mode. So the issues today are I'm thinking about turning my hips on every single shot. And that has really messed up my mind for actually playing golf. The other issue is I've got the wrong height tee pegs for these mats. So I need to cut some down a little shorter. And uh, quite a few knives with the sand wedges. And I didn't quite get the pace of the greens with the putting early on. 16. Well, we're up on high here. And the hole's a bit straighter, but still plenty of room for my little fade. So you can't take swing mechanics to the course and hope to play well. As I say, on every swing today, all I've been thinking about is turning my hips properly. I've run up quite a number and we aren't done yet. Well, 17 is stroke six, so I've lost my shot here. I don't know why, but um, I'm trying too hard. And we often do that. When we lose a shot in a hole, we try too hard. So three off the tee. Quality work, Simon. And again, yeah, this, this turning of the hips and thinking about that is making a mess of my swing. I'm playing tomorrow and I can assure you I will not for once think about turning my hips. It's a shame this is for a double. Now 18, there's no room behind the tee box here for the, uh, for the camera. So an ugly side on sway. Although I do hit this dead straight. We're about 20 yards forward. So it's a little easier to get over the top of the trees there. I hit it down the middle and ran out of space. And, well, might as well finish an ugly round with an ugly sand wedge. 